What's up guys and welcome to Void of Dust Gaming, your channel for fresh Arena of Valor content. Today we are going to take a closer look on, you can already see it on my screen, the better 35 patch note, which is the Dragon Kingdom patch. A lot of new things have been introduced in terms of modifications to the game. They've got a lot of really nice and neat things that they added to the game when it comes to improvement in terms of the graphics, uh, the overall display, some nice chat features, um, automatic hero choosing things when you are not able to pick a hero in a certain amount of time and so on and so forth and of course some of the changes that have been introduced with some of your beloved heroes and i would say this is the support hero patch um there have been a lot of changes to thane orma lumbur to name a few mina has been touched so we are going to talk about some of the battlefield modifications uh, some of the setting modifications some of the tweaks that they have introduced with new items or old items on the one hand that's the first part of the video and the second part of the video is going to be focusing on the hero tweaks and i'm going to put down some chapters here in the video timeline so that you can just jump to the part that you favorite the most um, the stuff that you are most interested in needless to say you should obviously watch the whole video because it gives me view time view time is really important but um, i'm going to put some chapters in so that you can have a better navigation um i've put some cheat sheet here because the first part of the of this is quite overwhelming they put a lot of things here and of course i'm going to put in the description to this arena of valor website in the uh, video description below so that you can read through everything in detail because what you're going to have today is a summary and uh, i've done something which um, i haven't done with the patches before so i've got a cheat sheet and uh, i just open it right now um, i've just kind of put everything into a word document so that i have an easier way to guide you through this um, i sometimes find that this is kind of confusing because they're hopping from settings to battlefield changes to battlefield mechanics to things like that and uh, then afterwards they've got the uh, hero plan and the hero plan um, we're going to check this in detail um, we're going to just jump to the specific hero but first of all what i want to do is to give you a summary of all these changes here in brief and um, i'm going to do that while you're going to see the screen when i'm just reading what i have put down on my cheat sheet so <clears throat> The first part of the video is going to be aesthetics and in-game improvements. So a lot of things have been introduced with this latest patch and I think the most important ones in terms of the aesthetics is that they have created a couple of new icons and uh, things on the battlefield. So for example, let me show you now you've got for example a better icon to divide which dark slayer did you kill is it the normal one or the infinite slayer you're going to have uh, some buttons here which indicate if there is a cannon minion in the minion wave or not the tower logic has been introduced here so that you can uh, better check out if the tower is already targeting you or not so the the tower shots are indicated or highlighted a little bit better the overall graphics have been improved um, i think that's pretty neat that they've done it uh, for example here is the the screen so this was the old one above and on the bottom with the shading you've got the new ones for example the shades are a lot better visible and uh, i think it's really really gorgeous what they've done to the game in the couple of months so you can see that high quality display is awesome it looks stunning it's really nice game and i think a lot of people are attracted to arena of valor because the graphics just look quite different than other, any other mobile game it's quite realistic on the one hand and uh, i think that they've done a really good job on that so that's something that we can look forward because i think that they're going to do this even more um so we've got the graphics in the map or in the gameplay is better and uh, what they tell us in the patch notes is that the display 
quality overall when looking at certain devices has been improved so even if you're basically using a mediocre phone the graphics might just look a little bit better because they tweak the display quality to look better than before um, in terms of in-game um, enhancements there's something which they call smart tactical comms so for example if you are learning a certain skill I mean if you have played the game already with the new patch you will have seen that you get an information on what skills your follow heroes or your follow teammates have been learning so you've got a better understanding and overview what's going to go on in the game um arena valor and tencent are focusing a lot on communication um which is another thing that they have introduced with the new patch so the chat is a lot more um a lot more clean than before and you will now have the general and the regional chat even if you are already in the team composition screen so usually you would have just the, the team chat and you would be able to communicate with your teammates to tell them okay I'm going to take an AD carry if we are going to get into a game but in this case you are going to see the general and the regional chat as well which has not been there before and all in all um, if you are like to customize your game and your um, overall appearance in the interface now you've got additional options on where you want to put certain buttons um, for example do you want to have the attack button a little bit on top of your skills you can drag them around a little bit um, I mean they have been showing this in the patch let me just flip to the respective area and you're going to see for yourself and I think that's a really good nice thing here you can see the adjustment has just been a little bit more towards your specific love what you want to do with the skill so I think that's a really nice overall improvement um, in terms of the settings now you have um, not only configuration uh, possibilities for the buttons and everything but you can put your phone into a uh, frame per second um, kind of enhancing mode so you've got the energy saver you've got the moderate and you've got the high so you can switch between those according to what mobile phone you're using and the game will try to get you the max FPS as possible um, <clears throat> something that they have done in addition to that is something that they call the battlefield rebalance so that's some kind of a game and like an in-game mechanics so usually when it was about to catch up like if you're getting some shutdowns and stuff like that the game was just looking on the lower income so they're basically determining what what team is on the lower income what team is on the higher income and that was the determination for the whole catch-up thing now they're taking even more things into account for example how many kills does the team have how many towers have you already destroyed and how many epic monsters have you killed as well as assists so they put a little lot more into consideration when it is determined who is the team to catch up which hopefully is going to put you in the position where you can actually get back into the game a little bit better and something which is also adding to that point is i don't know how you guys have experienced the game in the past but in my games it was usually even if you were the leading team and you had a really bad team fight the enemy team was able to just turn the fight and the whole game with one single team fight when you are basically in the late game stage to prevent teams from just rushing through if they want one single team fight um, they have just put something into the gameplay which is when you have destroyed the second tower right after the first one for example you take mid tower and then you take the second tower all the minions will be slowed down by 80 percent for the next 10 seconds which just puts the team who is pushing in the position that they will need a lot more resources because the enemy team can then reform for the defense when they're respawning for example i think that's an actually good thing because this is just I mean sometimes you just have bad luck someone is missing the team fight you are fighting for v5 or something like that and just that can just determine the whole outcome of a game and it's quite frustrating if you lose the game just because of one single situation and that might be some point where they actually have 
thought about that and put that right into their consideration. Um, something else which is actually an in-game thing that they have introduced with the new patch is now you can have another sorting things. Now you can um, have the hero sorted with the aspect of how many games you have played with a certain hero. That's a new sorting option. Um, you will have in addition to that um, some kind of advice on what teammates you might want to include in your in your team party when you're looking for a fiver queue and you will have some kind of highlights from teammates or for teammates which are not your friends so determining on your rank for example if you're masters or something there will be some kind of advice on some people that you might not already know but the game is actually putting these people into a list and you can add them or invite them to your game so that you can, for example, have a triple queue where you would be a solo player before. Uh, as I said, they have changed the improved auto selection. Usually it was the way if the countdown was on zero seconds and the game was about to begin the, in, and you would not have taken a hero the game would have determined the hero that you would play on the highest mastery level in your team layout they changed it a little bit but i think they could do it a little bit better um, but what they did was basically when you were using for example you are just putting a support and uh, you would not kind of like um, agree to the choice that you have made the game will now take another support hero with your highest uh, mastery level instead of taking just a random hero in my opinion what they should have done would have been to fill the role that has been missing so if there was a support missing and a player has not locked in a hero when the timer is about to run out that should have been a support or that should be a jungler for example because what's gonna happen is if you have two players logging in AD carries the game will determine okay you have picked an AD carry you didn't lock it in and then the game is going to determine okay which is the AD carry with the highest mastery level and then you would have to play that hero I would think I think it's a little bit smarter to just fill the position that has still been missing and that would lead to a better team composition but i think it's a good start to kind of tweak this uh, auto improved auto selection here instead of just leaving it like it was uh, the invite system has a new button so you've got another button to invite people that you want to include in your party uh, rank matches have been granted some new rewards so you will now get some comic sheets to get more background information into the game um, that's something that they have been kind of getting back from the community that we kind of love this background stories about heroes uh, so this is going to be a future uh, a feature and they also have included more background stories in general so not only the comic strips but also more background stories in general so if you are someone who is interested in the lore um, about your favorite hero that might just be something that has been added up in the game I, I'm not really reading it but if you are interested in it that might just be a cool future a cool feature for you in addition to what you already get from the game um, for rank matches there's also or for rank players there's also now another possibility that you can share your stats so people are getting to know how good or how bad you are in rank matches if you want to show it off um, they have introduced something which they call moments so I don't know if you've guys seen it but if you are uh, getting in your favorite or your personal space where you got all the information about your account there will now be some kind of highlight reel where you are seeing what your friends have achieved in the past it says like look I've been MVP with Violet check this out or something like that so it's kind of like a history list with the, the best moments that you have achieved when we're talking about um, new things that they have introduced into the game something which is i think a huge thing and they have should have included it in the past already it's a little bit late but i would say okay now they've done it so that's a really good addition to 
how you can look at games it's something that they call the spectating angle so you are able to watch your game with an above view um, as you might know from some of the tournaments so you've got a better understanding on where people are and how everything is going on on the battlefield with not just your single ego position so this is something that might be quite interesting um, I might try it out in my videos as well to just get you a better overview on how the team was actually uh, coordinating themselves and uh, that might just be a nice little feature for content creators and they also included the highlight reel or they, they reworked the highlight reel um, where you will have a good understanding on what you were able to achieve something game wise which i think is quite cool um, it's a highlight for me at least i marked it in my word document is that now you can just add more accounts or uh, you can um kind of link more accounts to arena of valor so it's not only facebook but you can also do vk or for example google or something like that so it's not just one but you can do it with a larger amount of heroes uh let me check the things here other upgrades hero profiles have been upgraded the tactical system they've put in a little bit more information here as I already said you can uh, check those heroes out and I think that's basically it about all the changes that they have put into kind of like the uh, the framework of the game so I think now it's quite important to talk about things that really um, kind of affect the game in terms of what they have done for the talents for the enchantments for the equipment that's the next point and then afterwards we are going to talk about certain heroes so first of all something that might be actually quite sad for a lot of players out there they have just put disrupt away for good so disrupt the this it was the, the talent that you could use to uh, kind of disable a tower for a short period of time or protect one of your towers for a short period of time is gone it's not in the game anymore they removed it um, but they introduced enfeeble into the game it's a new talent that is going to uh, decrease the damage that an enemy is able to dish out for a short uh, um, um, a short duration of time it's uh, decreased by 20 seconds uh, by 20 percent not 20 seconds 20 percent and on the other hand you will get a damage reduction by 20 percent so this is kind of like something um, we go, need to see how this is going to in, uh, affect the game, if that's for good or if it's just like a nice little setup. But I can tell you that we played a, a game yesterday with the new patch and uh, it was actually a thing that people were eager to, to use. So they were kind of quite keen about it and they were like, okay, well, that's that's something I need to I need to use it. So let me jump right to that portion so that you guys will have the overall uh the over of course we've got some control improvements stuff like that i think that is quite uh important as well in the backgrounds and stuff like that but i think it's it's kind of like a nice little neat thing to have so that was uh disrupt was removed frostbite was reworked and i think that's a really nice add up so frostbite is the um it's the upgraded um it's the upgraded jungler talent and the the problem was and i see that problem because i had it from time to time if you use frostbite on an enemy hero you can't score a monster so you will have to be really careful about how to use it because when you fight wildlings that's i i mean that's like creeps in the jungle they call it wildling so if you wanted to uh, shut down a wildling sometimes you will find yourself in the position that you hit an enemy hero instead and to prevent that from having to choose between one or the other they have added when the skill targets a hero it has the same effect on a nearby non-hero unit so even if you strike a hero because of an accident it will still still deal the damage to the monster next to that hero enabling you to get a red buff a blue buff um a dark slayer you name it so i think that's actually really really cool um really nice addition to the game and it's going to smoothen things a lot out equipment wise there are only two changes they have been um 
taking a little bit damage away from the soul reaver so normal attacks and skills are not longer dealing additional damage but they increase the damage from five to eight percent and they reduce the cooldown by five percent to 20 seconds i think that's making the thing more consistent um, but we're going to see if that is really kind of crippling some of the heroes because the normal attack and the, the skills are not longer um kind of profiting from the additional damage and what they've done is they made the rank breaker a little bit weaker in the early game so they have reduced the physical penetration from 88 points from the start to 50 but all in all if you manage to make it to late game you will see that the 200 which are now 190 is not that crazy anymore and enchantment wise there is just one thing that they have changed with the new patch the ap bonus is not 2.0 uh, oh, 0.25 anymore but now it's 0.15 so i think that is everything that i need to tell you about the rebalancing in terms of the equipment and i think now it's time to go into the heroes and i think we've got one hero where everyone is waiting for i'm going to have another video on my channel featuring this hero now we're just looking on the basic spell spells and it is the jade fan beauty ua and uh, i'm just going to have a short sip of my drink in order to make my voice work for the rest of the video because we're already in 20 minutes here we go so we, let's talk about ua if you are wondering what ua uh, is or what kind of hero she is she is definitely some sort of mid laner um she might be uh, taken as a support or even a solo laner because she is packing out tremendous amounts of damage that's something that i realized from the first couple of games that we were playing with a ua or against a ua the damage is insane and she's basically pretty straightforward so you have a passive the passive is basically saying like you gain stacks and uh, whenever you use one of her skills like skill one or skill two and when she gains two stacks the skills are enhanced and that's basically pretty straightforward as well so you've got one skill that is aqua force and you've got the other skill which is mountain crusher i don't know why they named it like that it's it's completely uh changeable you can call it like fire force or you can call it like uh, tomato crusher it doesn't really matter so what what's going on about those skills is basically you've got with the first skill a closer um a closer magic missile and uh, she's kind of like throwing around her, her air blades from her fan and you will have this like um, kind of like moon shape and where both of the blades are um, converging where they are kind of like um, where they are going to hit each other you are going to deal double double damage that's important so you should always try to get enemies into I mean you've got the template at your hand so you should always try to hit enemies at that point and if the scale the spell is enhanced you are going to unleash four blades instead of two and that means that you're going to deal four times the damage mountain crusher is basically the same skill as aqua force but it is, is having a longer range so it's basically the same and the damage is really really huge to tell like if you haven't played against yue be careful with the ranges because she is going to shred for you like a butter a hot knife through butter yeah that's the expression ultimate is rising wind she deals damage to enemies in front of her and knocks them back and then she is kind of like hopping back if you have ever played elsu that mechanic is kind of something that you have already known and it's increasing her vision distance by 15 percent as you guys are going to um use her ultimate anyways as soon as you hit level four it's really nice to see a little bit more about the battlefield and have a little bit better positioning so i think with you most important is not to be the one in the front line you should always find someone who is covering you for example a warrior or a tank and uh, if you are paying close attention to your positioning you should be able to deal tremendous amounts of damage um, and you will have a range 
advantage over most of the mid laner heroes that you're going to fight against and you can switch between those two like you've got the shorter um, spell and you've got the long range spell which makes her actually really nice to play i haven't played her in a game yet but just from the hero trials and what i've seen from her so far she's going to be a powerhouse that's for sure so that was the new champion and now we need to talk about old champions and as i already said we are going to focus on supports with this chat uh, with this with this with this oh my goodness we are going to focus on supports with this patch not the chat um okay let's go down to the heroes and there will be a lot of crazy things so let's start off with the teamy um, the guys in the armor. I think Timmy has received a little or a smaller buff, so the armor magic defense is increasing while you are casting it. That's actually quite nice because you are going to be next to the enemies anyways. Your ultimate has been improved a little bit. Um, eight, 8 meters is the effective range, so that makes it a little bit easier to revive heroes that have been dead, so you don't have to be so close to the action. And the duration of the postcast animation is nearly oh, nearly halved so that's actually a really nice thing i don't know if this is going to put timmy to a whole new level but i think it was really something that they needed to put into the game because timmy was really outstanding um a couple of months ago but i don't really see timmy that often and i think that they deserved better so this is i i would say this is a small buff um but it's something that they needed and we're going to see how this is going to improve them i think they're going to be a little bit better but they're not going to be op just because of this um that said orma is something that i highly anticipated at the beginning when i knew that this is going to be part of the patch and i'm a little bit disappointed so what they try to do, and I think they explain it quite well here in this uh, design notes, at least we've got design notes um, for every single hero set that you guys or that we know what the plan was behind of all these changes. And I think that's actually quite helpful to understand in what kind of direction they want to go. So Orma, super cool. I think he's really one of those supports that you can play super aggressively and it, it pays back, which is awesome um, and now they want to bring him back to his old performance so what they have done um, stun time is increased by a little bit movement distance is um, is increased a little bit but then they have um, just done something which is enhanced normal attack duration is a little bit shorter movement distance is a little bit longer but the speed is a little bit lower the mana cost is at the beginning a little bit lower but it's going to be increasing the more levels you have the slow has been tweaked down a little bit so from a flat 50 percent on the second skill now it's 30 up to 50 cooldown time is a little bit lower and you can now add the buff to minions and wildlings and uh, skill one cannot be used while in the ultimate when the ultimate is in effect and i think that is not that cool anymore like this is it was really really good to use the first skill to, just to reposition yourself and to catch up with enemies who, who were using flicker so i think that's kind of like a mediocre buff we're going to see how it turns out overall in the game but i think that they can could have done a little bit better this is kind of like yes thanks for doing something i guess so Remove the internal cooldown, but lower the trigger chance. That's, yeah, I don't know. Okay, it, as they say, now it's a test of your luck. And I think that basically sums up what the armor changes are all about. And uh, now let's continue to something which is actually quite favorable. So Thane has been improved and I was really hoping for that. And I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sad because I just released a Thane video uh, showing one of the best uh, dual lanes with Hayate um in the team composition because thane has overgone a massive change and i think it's super cool to actually have thane back into the game i think he was 
a tank that was actually quite solid but nothing to write home about like he wasn't really super good but he wasn't super bad so he was basically standing in the middle being one of the true tanks because of his passive and what they now have done is they have added enhanced normal attacks every single time he casts a spell and you're going to deal 60 percent of the max hp of the hero that you're going to strike which is a huge buff um unfortunately on the other hand they remove the interruption protection i don't know if you guys are um common what thane does with his s1 he was just like putting his shield right in front of him and then just plowing through the enemies and that was interrupted protection so if you were about to be interrupted you were just continuing now they have removed it from the game but 50% uh, of the cooldown is returned which is actually quite nice and the cooldown is a little bit lower so 10 seconds minus one uh, minus 0 0.4 is actually a nice little buff and the overall change which is quite quite entertaining and it's going to have a lot more options because it just might m mean that you're not going you don't need to take flicker anymore instead of just casting the second skill at the original location you're going to jump up to 3.5 meters and you can cross walls and i think that's awesome like that's a really 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 cool improvement you are finally able to make it over walls and other obstacles unfortunately have they have reduced the slow effect but they have just reduced the mana cost by a little bit and the magic damage in this case has been turned into physical damage which is unfortunate because physical damage is a little bit uh, worse than magic damage um, again, they have reduced the cooldown if you are interrupted and your ultimate is dealing a little bit more, uh, a little bit less damage. So you don't have the, the, the multiply here. I mean, that 0.9% AD, I, I haven't built any AD item on Thane ever since I've played him. And now you are dealing true damage equal to the to the own max which is actually quite nice if you are fueled up by a lot of hp but unfortunately if you're playing thane the way that i play him you won't have that much life anyways because you are going to you are the tank and you're going to be soaking up everything here mana cost has been reduced by a little bit um on the first level and they have uh put the slow onto that thing so the, the slow has been removed from your s2 but it has now been put to the 50 percent slow here and i think that's a huge change i think that's a really nice buff and we have played him already in one of the games and i from what i heard from my teammate is that this guy is awesome it's really fun to play thane right now and i think or i hope that is this is going to change him from being a B or C tier into an A tier again and I think what you now need to um, what you now t need to put into consideration is that Thane has become a lot more mobile just because he is able to jump across walls that's really really good and that's going to be crazy because you can actually jump over enemies and then just push them back into the tower and I think you need to prepare for that by good positioning and that's something that you might just put into your game plan when you're playing against Thane uh, Chogna to make it quite quick they have removed a lot of passive control immunity and all sorts of things to sum it up they want Chogna to be more of a roaming support protecting his allies and I think the most important thing is that they have now introduced something which is a shield so now you get a shield which is 500 plus plus 500 per level that you have in this skill but all in all they have tweaked him a little bit down to make him more sorts of a roaming support instead of a damage dealing support i mean there has been this up update where they have put him on par with most of the th most dangerous um mage heroes or the mid lane heroes so that you were able to see um Chogna in the middle but that has changed a lot and now he's more sorts of a roaming support and we're going to see I d uh, how this turns out I don't think that this is going to change the matter by any way so I think he's still going to be okay-ish and that's that that said Lumbo has just received a huge buff or a, a good buff um that said because now you are knocking up enemy heroes they have just mana costs are a little bit higher here the cooldown is a little bit uh, longer or 
it's tremendously longer, six seconds to 12 seconds. Uh, cooldown time on his other spell has been reduced. His movement speed has been reduced a little bit and the mana cost has been tweaked down. Reduced the damage ratio and fixed it at 20%. I think that's actually quite nice. And what I really like about the change is that his ultimate is now dealing magic damage, which is going to be handy in team fights because magic damage is obviously better than physical damage. Mina has just received some kind of rework, so um, the mana cost on the enhanced skill 1 has been removed. But while they did it, they have increased the mana cost for the second skill. So now it's not 50, but it's 50 and that can become 100. So this is kind of like the, the things that they had in mind for Mina. I think that's okay. I, I think that's that's kind of something that most Mina players can live with. She is still going to be one of the best supports in game, even with those changes. So Morin has been changed. Uh, he was re uh, relatively unpopular. Yeah, that's something that you can just tell because um, I wasn't seeing him in ages. This, this hero was just non-existent in most of my games. Um, Morin was always a hero that was kind of more like a late game hero. So let's check out what they have done. Morin gains armor and magic defense when he hits targets with his normal attacks up to 10 times i think that's actually really nice and uh when it's fully stacked you are going to refresh the duration of the effect that's that's quite cool normal attack range is decreased by a little bit the interval is a little bit better the damage is a little bit better and uh, i think 25 percent or 25 points armor and magic defense is actually quite good it's something that most of the mage uh, most of the ad carries don't really have in game um, so skill number one physical life speed, steel and movement speed that's cool passive decreased by seconds physical life speed fixed by 15% cooldown time fixed from 9 seconds to 4.5 that's a huge buff that's better then that's like 100%. Uh, that's actually really, really good. Then he's got his shutdown, uh, this sh shotgun approach. The cast range is a little bit shorter, but the mana cost has been uh, has been reduced by 10 points. You're going to knock back enemies, and the cooldown time has been tweaked. But this is not something that's going to show off at the end of the game because now you've got 12 seconds, uh, 11 seconds instead of 12. But it's just one. It's now 0 0.5 instead of 1 second. I think that's not really going to do that much about him. Magnetic Raid, a grenade is a lot better right now. Like This is going to be a huge buff for him. The cooldown has been um, brought up to 40 seconds. I think that's reasonable because the damage output is a lot better. Ultimate Radius is a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, improved and the ultimate cast range is a little bit decreased I think that's actually something that you can work with so I guess with this uh, with this armor and magic defense buff Morin is actually able to survive a lot of fights that he would have not survived at uh, the later stage of the game or the last stage of the game after b before he was um, touched so I think it's actually a nice, a nice little uh, buff that he got from this patch. I think you can work with these kind of decreasements here and the decreasements in this part of the in this part of the section because this is going to be a really nice ult. But I don't know if you guys have ever played Morum before, but I had the uh, feeling that his ultimate was basically non-existent. Like you were just putting it down, and people were just passing through it, and it wasn't really something that you can rely on. Uh, in terms of damage, so this is going to be quite quite good. Um, Aoi's design notes, they have uh, removed some of her stuff. Okay, Ben Flicker while using the skill, I think that's good. Uh, to make her a little bit weaker in terms of mobility is always a good thing. Um, Irie has been changed a little bit, slow duration is a little bit shorter, but the attack damage is a little bit better. Okay, the ultimate, two stacks of Dragon's Mark when casting the ultimate, get one stacks of Dragon Mark whenever she hits a hero, so now she needs to hit heroes, that's actually quite good. Um, pain has been changed by a little bit, attack interval is a little bit longer, I think that's actually quite reasonable. Enhanced normal attack flicker increases the process, 
Uh, that's good and increased attack speed by 30% after using his skill can stack three times. Okay, that's actually quite good. Um, whew, 40% damage reduction, that's actually quite huge. Uh, but then, I mean, that's quite reasonable. Immediately enters cooldown, enters cooldown after the effect ends. Okay, that's a nice little tweak. Increase the post cast time by 2 seconds. Pain cannot use an auto attack. Or another skill during this time i think that is actually quite good to just decrease his damage by a little bit because pain was actually quite powerful in the past and they moved for 50 percent damage reduction during the casting process okay that's good as well so they have done a stronger skill one but they nerfed down the skill two a little bit and i think that's actually something that i would like to see on more heroes so you're doing something a little or you make it something a little bit better but then you're taking something which is quite powerful on the other hand so you're not nerfing a hero down to like the hell but you are actually thinking about what is going to make this hero a little bit weaker while not making him super weak that's good i guess zip has been nerfed a little bit so um Normal attacks do not deal um, damage behind zip. The, the attack range has been decreased by a little bit. Um, skill 1 reduced the stun time. So that I think the, the most important thing was the stun. But the, the damage is then a little bit better. Uh, damage over time is a little bit better. But longer attacks do not longer deal magic damage to target hits. I think that's huge. I mean, yes, this has been decreasing. But this was actually really really good and removed wilding absorption mechanic that's a thing that that's what zips were kind of like the what what you would take them for and uh, i think they have just decreased everything by a little bit and i think that was quite reasonable because zip was actually super super strong so that nerf is actually uh really really welcomed aya has been changed a little bit um that flat slow effect is even better than this one but you i mean you were taking hp uh, ap anyways the shield is becoming a little bit worse i think that's that's not enough they should just kind of like do it uh and nerf it a little bit more and if she is going to main the class targeted it's 100 percent otherwise it's increased by 50 percent Oh my goodness, I don't know if if we really need this. Uh, she's so strong with other heroes when she when she is basically accompanying them. I don't know if that's really something that we should have seen. So Aya should basically be nerfed. That's something that I approve a lot. Uh, Lubu is too powerful as a jungler, so we're hoping that these tweaks will cool him down. They have touched him anyways in the last update but the the last patch wasn't really affecting him because it just means that his attack speed was a little bit tuned down at the beginning of the game but you were going back to the original status when you were entering mid to late game um so that's okay it not 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 works on towers anymore and the effect is reduced by 50 percent against minions and wildlings okay that's fine uh, blah 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 works on towers and the effect is reduced by 50% against minions and wildlings that's actually quite sad because I I love to use his ultimate against minions and wildlings just to heal me up then when there was no fighting anymore but I think that's quite reasonable because the effect is actually quite strong uh, thorn very popular speed up upon hit da, da, da. okay so the skill 2 is going to be a little bit weaker i think that's not going to change thorn overall but it's actually quite welcome to see him tune down a little bit uh and net i don't even know this this is a champion i don't even want to talk about because it's just i don't know what they've done to her laurel has become a little bit stronger i think that's actually quite nice because i played her lately and girls are going to see a video with her and i, I wasn't super happy with her performance because she's not super strong right now um omega has been has been reworked a little bit so everything is going to be a little bit better ignis is going to have more damage that's highly welcome because i think he is not doing that much of a damage type um i mean that's huge ultimate at 24 levels instead of four seconds that's uh, minus four that's actually quite crazy but i mean they have just touched the overall damage outcome so i think that's actually quite reasonable tara 
um, cooldown is a little bit longer, but I think that is okay. And they've added a lot of new modes to the game, which is the Supremacy Blitz mode, and that we're going to try out. And I'm going to show you a video on that as well. So, 44 minutes. It was a little bit confusing sometimes, even while I had my cheat sheet, because there's just so much in those patch notes i hope you guys enjoyed the video i think what we are going to have as a verdict is a really strong new mid laner with ua she's going to be something that we're going to see for quite a while in the game because she's actually quite strong and people will get to know that she's quite strong so they're going to pick her up and as she was uh, been able to be bought for gold i think a lot of players can actually afford her for example myself i just had the gold over it, it was just there's to spare so this is something that we are going to have to face in the game for the next couple of weeks uh, there was a lot of changes with Thane and uh, Lumbo I think that these heroes are going to be a little bit better if not a lot better in the future and this is something that I really welcome I would advise you to just kind of like put your positioning to the test and see if they are going to harass you with their new skills for with the knockups and the jumps and i think everything else is actually quite something that you can deal with if you have played against lumbu before uh, lubu before or if you have played against aoi before she's not going to be crazier than before uh it's going to be mildly tuned down i think that's actually something that i would welcome so overall i think that's actually a really nice patch if if you ask me so they have done some stuff to make some of the more potent heroes a little bit weaker they buffed heroes that have not been seeing too much playtime in the past and they have just introduced a lot of new cool features that are actually going to make the game a lot more smoother um, the quality a lot more better the graphics better and i think that is something that really shows that teamy and uh, infinite level are going to make the game better in the future and that's something that we can look forward to and uh, if you like this kind of video just give me a thumbs up that would be highly appreciated i love the fact that a lot of new players are coming to the channel because of some videos like that so um Hello new one, I don't know if you guys will ever make it for uh, the 46 minutes, but uh, yes, that was my verdict on the patch 35 and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, see ya.